Hello there. A long-term plot has been uncovered to keep the UK locked inside the European Union. It seems that some Remain-minded MPs are adopting a long-term strategy to keep the UK firmly under the control of the European Union. The political editor of The New Statesman, George Eaton, writes that although many Remainers want to see another referendum before 2019, the what he calls thoughtful Remainers want to wait until a trade deal is concluded and then voters would somehow be offered a choice between that deal or a re-entry to the bloc under Section 49 of the Lisbon Treaty. To make this plot work, the UK would have to be tied into a lengthy transition period so that the UK could for many years be able to slide back in under its previous agreements. Now, there are two major areas of concern that had kept the UK tolerably happy within the EU up until the referendum. These were the opt-outs from both the Euro and from the open border Schengen zone. The UK has been very keen to keep the pound and some semblance of control over its borders, and I see this view hardening rather than softening. Should the UK manage to fully break the shackles that connect us to the EU by Brexit Day on the 29th of March 2019, then any subsequent re-entry into the EU would almost certainly entail the UK entering both the Eurozone and the Schengen Open Borders area. It would be political suicide for any government to advocate that. So the Remainers will be working around the clock with everything they have to keep us inside some sort of long-term agreement that would allow us back into the EU but staying outside the single currency and outside of Schengen. For now. I see the choice being somehow attached to the next planned general election in 2022, with some MPs taking a more pro-EU stance at the ballot box to give them legitimacy. They could then vote to trigger Article 49 and whisk us straight back in. Or they hope they can. Some Remainers say that it's OK for these politicians to be doing this right now. After all, they say, that's the sort of thing that Leave politicians like UKIPers in the EU Parliament did, isn't it? But I say no, it's not OK. And for one simple reason. UKIP MPs and MEPs were voted in on a platform of leaving the EU. They were open and honest about it, and they worked to that end. These Remain MPs plotting behind the scenes to stay in the EU were elected for the most part on a party manifesto of leaving the EU, but they are now working directly against that commitment. They are liars. They should have refused the whip prior to the election and stood for another party or as independents. But they did not. They are not Democrats. They are also not loyal to their parties. Worse still, in most cases, they are not loyal to their constituents. This country is now in dire need of a rejuvenated UKIP, as there is no other party that 100% reflects the will of the people on this matter. And I think that will start to happen over time, as the people of the UK come to realise what is going on behind their backs. When that happens, these anti-Brexit politicians will find that, instead of reforging EU shackles for the UK, all they've done is dig their own political graves. So what do you think about these plotters? Please leave a comment below. Thank you. Please do like and share this video. And also subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing, please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. Thank you very much for watching.